Hi, welcome back to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. Today's lesson is a special one. We're going to talk about having a baby. Everybody loves babies. Everybody wants to know how does this happen? Well, maybe not how it happens, but what happens along the way. So we're going to talk about having a baby. We're going to talk from the beginning right till you're ready to take the baby home. So what happens first? You conceive a baby. Conceive is the verb. What happens is conception. At this stage, the sperm, the male sperm, goes into the female egg. Okay? You're on a vacation somewhere. You don't, you know, you're having fun. You have on your anniversary, you're celebrating, and you conceive a baby. It happens. A cold winter night, too cold to go outside, nothing on TV, you don't know what to do. You conceive a baby. It happens this way too. So most people don't know when they conceive their baby, but they know roughly when. Eventually, the woman will miss her period, you know, which happens every month. And then she will take a pregnancy test with one of those sticks, or she will go to the doctor, and she will find, up, find out that she was knocked up. Knocked up is a very slang expression to mean pregnant. Or you can say she has a bun in the oven. Okay, so these are two idioms, slang, for pregnant. So the woman is pregnant. What happens next? So now she has, she goes to the doctor. The doctor, by the way, is the OBGYN for short. OBGYN, that's what most people say. The OB is the obstetrician. The GYN is the gynecologist. These are female doctors. Not, the doctors themselves are not necessarily female. They're doctors for women. Okay. The obstetrician is the one who delivers the baby. The gynecologist is the one who checks the woman's body, makes sure everything's okay. The baby's okay. The woman's okay. Everything is set to go. After the visit to the doctor, you will, the woman will get, or the couple will get a due date. So the baby is due generally, roughly nine months later. Okay. Nine months later, the woman will give birth to the baby or she will deliver the baby. But just before that happens, she will go into labor. So all of these, all these expressions are basically the same time. She goes into labor. I forgot to mention a word here. She has contractions. This is when she feels that pain in the stomach or wherever it happens that it's very quick, very sharp pain. It comes, it goes. The closer the contractions, the closer she is to giving birth. So she goes into, the, into labor, she goes to the hospital, and that's where the OBGYN will help deliver the baby. Now, over the course of the nine months, there are three trimesters. Now, this might sound familiar. Maybe you know semester from high school. You have semesters, once fall semester, winter semester, and then summer vacation. In a pregnancy, you have a trimester. So about three months, three months, three months. During that time, the, the sperm and the egg, basically, they come together and then they start developing. The first stage is called a zygote. The baby or the zygote is like tiny, tiny. Then it becomes an embryo. This is another stage of the development process. Then it becomes a fetus, another stage. And finally, it comes out as a baby. Okay. So now, the OBGYN will have to help deliver the baby. It could be a natural birth, and in which case, everything just happens naturally. Maybe the woman will want an epidural. Okay, epidural is a needle, a big needle. They stick in her spine, basically relaxes all the muscles so she has less pain and it's a little bit easier to push the baby out. Sometimes, and in some situations, the woman will have a cesarean or sometimes called a C-section. This is when the doctor has to cut the stomach and pull the baby out that way, okay? Sometimes it's by choice, sometimes it's by necessity. Now, one other way, another person, by the way, who can help with the baby is a midwife. Some people don't like to go to the hospital to have the baby. They want to have the baby at home. The OBGYN will not come to your house. But there are people who are trained to deliver babies at home naturally, no epidural, no C-section, no medicines, no machines, just you, your bed, and the baby coming out, okay? 
Now, once the baby is out of the body, of the woman's body, it is connected to the mother by an umbilical cord. Okay, that tube that feeds the baby. So what you have to do then, you have to cut the cord. Now, the reason I put cut the cord here is because we also use this as an expression. When it's time to cut the cord means it's time to disconnect from your parents or from authority. So when we cut the cord, we set the child free. Okay, when we send him off to school or when we send her off to get married, we are cutting the cord. We are releasing her from the family. Next, you're ready to go home. The baby's healthy and happy and, you know, beautiful, I assume, because babies are all beautiful. No? Then you have to get ready to take the baby home. Before you go home or on your way home, somebody has to go pick up diapers. It looks like diapers, but it's diapers. <clears throat> These are the basically the underwear for the baby, so he can or she can do whatever needs to be done, and then it is thrown away. You need some formula. If the baby will not breastfeed, then you have to get formula in a jar and give baby food. It's not called food because it has, a, it has special nutrients in it that are created for babies. That's why it's called a formula. Maybe you want to get a cradle. A cradle is like a little box on the ground and the wheels are shaped like this. So when the baby is inside, you can cradle it. You can cradle the baby in your arms or you can put it in a box and make the box move back and forth. You should probably get a crib. A crib is a baby's bed. It is small and it has walls on all the sides so the baby can't roll off and hurt itself. You, can, you should also get a stroller. A stroller is like a little buggy with wheels that you put the baby in and you go for a walk, you know, with your little stroller. And if the baby starts crying, you, maybe you need to give it formula or maybe you just need to put a pacifier in its mouth. A pacifier is that little plastic piece with a little knob thing, I think. And you just put it in its mouth and it sucks away and it's happy because it thinks it's eating something, right? So now you're all ready to have a baby. How you're going to do it, when you're going to do it, why you're going to do it, that's up to you. But you're ready to talk about it whenever it, it, the time does come. I wish you the best of luck with that. If you want to find out more about this, go to ingvid.com. You can ask me questions in the comment section. There will be a quiz to test your knowledge of these words. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye.